Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to show you guys that we've got gotten so far are, excuse me, I'm a little out of breath, <laughs> um, are these bibs. They're super cute. They are bibs that he can wear, or she. Um, I don't know why I keep saying he. I just, Jared and I both have a feeling that it's going to be a boy. But that he or she can wear um, for each major holiday. So the first one says, my first new year. Then we have one that says, my first Valentine's. St. Patty's, Easter, 4th of July, Halloween. This will be the actually the first one that the baby wears um, because we are due in August. So Halloween will be the first um, holiday type um, event that comes up. Then my first Thanksgiving, which is really exciting because this is the first major holiday that baby will celebrate. Um, and for Thanksgiving, we go to Jared's side of the family. It's house so a lot of his family is in Boston and they come down so this will be the first time they actually get to see the baby which will be really exciting my first Christmas and that's the holiday that we spend with my family um, most of them would have already seen baby by then so uh, but it will be exciting just because it's baby's first Christmas and then finally my first birthday which we have a long time before baby will wear this one so I'm really excited about those uh, we got the my mom and I went to um Babies RS last weekend, and we saw these, and we just had to get them. Um, also, is this is baby's first stuffed animal. My mom and dad <laughs> got this for baby this past Christmas, um, Christmas of 2015. My mom made the baby a stocking um, because by then we already knew that we were expecting. Uh, we actually had found out two weeks prior to Christmas, so she was super excited. This is the first grandbaby on my side of the family or for my parents and this is the second grandbaby for Jared's parents um he has a twin brother and his brother actually has a daughter who is four so this will be the second grandbaby for them um so everyone's really excited <laughs> and then I have these super cute socks that I got from H&M um, most of the stuff that I have now um is gender neutral at least I think it's gender neutral since we don't know what the sex of the baby is or the gender of the baby. Uh, Jared and my mom go back and forth on whether some of my stuff is gender neutral. They think some stuff is more geared towards girls, some stuff more geared towards a boy, but I feel like I can make it work for either or. Um, so these are just uh, gray and white stripes. This one says born to be loved. And then these are just gray and black. Um, then we got some onesies. The baby's gonna be born in August. And we live on the East Coast in um, the D.C. area. So August is the hottest month um, out of the year for us. So these are zero to three months. Um, and they are sleeveless onesies. And I probably won't end up using these. And I'll just take them back and exchange them once the baby gets here. Because even though um, it, it will be August and it'll probably be like 100 something degrees outside. The, um, it's still a baby so my mom is just like no you're still gonna want to have, have at least have short sleeves on the baby not sleeveless but we don't know yet so I mean I just got these just in case even if we're just around the house lounging and it's just warmer in the house um, most of the things that I purchased are start at zero to three months or are like um, three to six months I did, haven't gotten any newborn um, like that just say newborn obviously a newborn can wear zero to three months but anything that's just made for just newborn like the nb on the label just because um even though you don't know i'm a little skeptical because i um of me and my three sib or two siblings out of the three of us i was the biggest baby even though i'm the smallest of the three of us now um i was the biggest when I, we were born and jerry between him and his brother he was the biggest baby the bigger baby so i'm just i have a feeling that we're gonna have a pretty big baby um, and especially because, uh, my bump came in a little bit quicker or sooner than what most people say your bump is supposed to come in. I just have a really big feeling that I'm going to have a pretty hefty baby. Um, so yeah, that's why I just, get, I'm getting a lot of zero to three months because I'm pretty sure the baby's not even going to be able to fit new board clothes on once it gets here. Okay. Then I got this cute little gray onesie. Um, just a plain, uh, onesie. This is also from H&M. Um, most of the things I have from H&M are organic cotton. 
I really like organic cotton. I like the way it feels. And Jared and I both have sensitive skin. So I'm not sure if the baby's going to have sensitive skin. So it's um, a bigger chance, I guess, since we both do. So I just felt like maybe getting organic cotton things was playing it a little safe. Just in case. Um, then we got these pants. These are Jared's. Jared loves these. Um, they're super cute. These are two to four months. Also from H&M. And they kind of have like that little saggy crotch um, like everyone's wearing now. So these are really cute. Um, this will, I got these in two to four months because they're a little thicker. So this will be more for September and October. And even though it'll be like 100 degrees in August, come mid-September, it'll start to cool down um, tremendously. Uh, what else? Then more onesies just because I've heard from everyone, all my friends who have kids, my mother, uh, my mother-in-law. Um, you can never have too many onesies. These are going to be my best friend. So I just have a plain white one that just pulls over. Um, wait, does it have snaps at the top? No, it just has snaps at the bottom. Then I have this one that has a snaps crossing over as well as the snaps at the bottom. I hear like these are um, many people like this type that have the snaps on the side. It just makes it easier. Um, and again, these are all organic cotton. And these are in two to four months because they are the longer sleeves. So again, these are for like the cooler months that will be approaching us. And then in that pack also came just like a heather gray one. Also two to four months, um, same thing, long sleeves, so for the cooler months. Then I love this one. My mom and Jared both think that this is for a girl, and I boy can't wear this. But I think this is so cute, and it's so tiny. Um, and this is one to two months. And it has the longer sleeves also. But I just think this is so adorable. It's like a little cow. It looks so cute. And maybe this is a little feminine. I don't know. Um, again, if it ends up being a boy, Jared won't let me put this on the baby. So I'm keeping the tags on everything um, that are, um, that's questionable. And I won't wash it. I'll only wash the things and remove tags that I know for a fact baby's going to wear like the um, onesies I had shown earlier. And then if it does happen to be a boy and he's just like no my son is not wearing this then I'll take it back and exchange it most stores are really good about taking back baby things because they know you're kind of it's like a guesstimate until the baby actually gets here um then I got long sleeve um I have a lot of long sleeve things just because the baby is going to be born in August but it'll only be a few weeks before we start to reach our cooler months this is these are three to six months so I just have this navy blue one and they all have like little bears in the corner then i have this blue and white pinstripe one and then i just have a plain white one and um, they all just have the snaps at the crotch area which will make it easy for diaper changes then this is one of my favorite pieces um it is this little cardigan which will come in handy in september because it's not too um cold yet but still warm enough i mean i'm sorry not too um, cold but still cool enough where baby will need um, some type of like light cover on and it's just this mustard colored um, sweater and it has gray trim around the bottom and at the wrist of the sleeves um, and this is from H&M one to two months and I absolutely adore this and I feel like this could be a for a girl or a boy here it's not too fond of the mustard color but he has agreed that if we have a son that baby boy can go in this um then i also have this one which is probably more for like um the end of september early october super cute just a gray hoodie um the the inside is super warm it's like um a plush type material and then the sleeves are rolled up so you can feel it on the outside and then it's also around the trim of the hood and then the hood has little ears which are so cute and this is from baby gap and this is three to six months so baby will be able to wear this for a little while um and it's so warm on the inside i just adore this so cute then this is one of my favorite outfits this might be what we bring the baby home in from the hospital um i'm not really big on you know uh full outfits or to bring the baby home in because you want the baby to be comfortable you're just going from the hospital to your home we're not going to make any stops because i'm going to be exhausted jerry will probably be exhausted the baby will definitely be exhausted 
and we're just going to want to get home and start to get settled. Uh, but this says I'm 100% perfect. It's a longer sleeper. It has the buttons around the crotch, which is perfect for changing the diaper. It has the longer sleeves, and this is in size zero to three months. So I'm pretty sure this is about the size that the baby's going to be. I just I have one of those feelings, but we never know. I could have a little itty bitty tiny baby. That would be perfect. <laughs> I would love that. Um, I feel like that would make labor a little bit easier. Um, then I have more onesies. These are similar to the long sleeve ones I had shown earlier. Um, I just had these in a smaller size because they're the shorter sleeves, so the baby will wear these in the first few weeks of it being here. Um, and this also has the bears in the corner. Same exact colors, the navy, the white, and then the pinstripe navy and white. And then these are in, I think, zero to three months. Hold on. Yes, these are zero to three. The other, the longer sleeve ones were three to six. So it's like the same exact thing. We'll just switch them out according to the season. Um, then we have this really cute one. Jared hates this one, but I love it, so I'm not getting rid of it. This is the one I'm not negotiating on. And this is actually, I lied, this is newborn. I did get one <laughs> newborn piece. Um, and I am obsessed with elephants. They are by far my favorite animal. And when I saw the little elephant on here, I just had to get it. This is from Carter's. And they're short, um, it's like the short jumper. And then again, it has the buttons in the crotch to make it easy for diaper changes. And it's a shorter sleeve, so baby will probably wear this one time. And then I'll never be able to fit them in this again, but that's okay. Um, then just another single onesie that is from H&M, which has the cross um, buttons, which we really like. Um, oh, then I got these socks, zero to three months. They are from Carter's as well. Um, it's the brown and cream stripe, the gray and cream. It's like a heather gray and cream stripe. And then it's um, a darker gray and cream stripe. And then on the other side of them, uh, they have animals. So it has an owl. Um, what is that? I think that's a fox and then an elephant. So these are pretty cute. And so it's um, a six pack. So these three in the front have the animals and then the three in the back have the stripes. So six pack, it was a really good deal. And I hear you can't have too many um, socks. Let's see. Oh, then this is another one of my favorite pieces. Um, I don't know why I still have it in the bag. So it's a little hat, oops, I'm blocking the camera. A little hat, um, it's like a bear. This is from Carter's, this is three to nine with the ears. Um, three to nine months, so this is gonna come in handy around Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, maybe we'll get to wear it in January. I know it says it goes up to nine months, but both Jared and I have very um, healthy size heads. So I will not be shocked if baby smith has a rather healthy size head as well so we don't know if we'll be able to stretch this all the way to nine months um because we don't want it to like uh, pinch his little head but definitely um december and uh what is it december and um november months we'll be able to wear this and then also came with these little booties, <laughs> which are so cute. I don't know why I still have it in the wrapper. Um, and it's too hard to try to do this with one hand, so they're gonna stay in there. But they match the hat. It also has a little bear on the front with the ears. And so adorable. Um, I just can't wait to put he or she in this. Um, you'll see my stuff is neutral color. Um, I don't like color. I myself personally don't wear. A lot of color so my baby's probably not gonna wear a lot of color either Jared doesn't really wear color either he wears black or white <laughs> um, sometimes gray um, then I have these little pants these are zero to three months so cute um, has bears on them and just adorable these are oh I have them backwards <laughs> they are from baby gap and they are also um, organic cotton. 
Then we have, ah, this is from H&M. It's um, another jumper. It's a little bigger, as you can see. This is two to four months. Um, so this is definitely for the colder months, maybe like November and December uh, when it starts to get chilly. And it's just a gray and white pinstripe, long sleeve with a hood. And it also has the little ears. Oops, can you see that? The little ears on the hood. And then on the inside, um, it has like little characters. Let's see. Um, what else do I have? Oh. Oh, more onesies. These are zero to one month. Um, so these are probably the ones that I will take with me to I'll pack in my hospital bag. Um, I haven't done my hospital tour yet. We do it at the end of the month. So I'll know. They'll give me a list of exactly what to take. But I am an overpacker. So I know I'm going to bring more than what they tell me. Um, so I have three of these. And they are long sleeve. And the only reason I got these in long sleeve is because I'm expecting the baby to wear these while we're in the hospital. I, um, they keep me there for, I do know that they will they keep me there for at least two nights um, for vaginal uh, labor. And then if I happen to have a C-section, which keep your fingers crossed that I do not have to have a C-section, um, I would be there for four nights. So the hospitals I know are pretty cold. Um, anytime I've ever been in a hospital, I myself am always freezing and take a sweater with me. So it only makes sense that a itty bitty tiny newborn baby with super sensitive skin would be freezing as well. So that's why I got the long sleeves for while we're in the hospital. And I'm gonna bring all three with me um, because you never know what may happen. I'm not expecting any like poop explosions because baby really doesn't really poop when it's just out the womb. It's not poop, it has nothing to poop. Um, but just, you never know. I could spill something on the baby, <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's why I made sure to get the three pack. Um, then we also have some more pants. Um, and these are from Carter's, these are three month. And these are just the, um, the light gray. And then these are like a, they look white on camera. But they're actually like um like a, a creamish, maybe like um an off white color. So um I really like these and they have a little tie, so if need be I can pull them tighter if I do happen to have a really, really tiny baby. One of my girlfriends, her daughter was born full term and was only like five pounds. So it is possible <laughs> to have an extremely tiny baby. I just highly doubt with our history that that's what we're gonna have. Um, something just tells me we're gonna be, we make big babies. Um, and then I have another pack of socks. These are from Carter's. These are just, um, another six pack, but it's just plain white fuzzy socks to keep your little feet warm. This, uh, I'll probably bring these with me to the hospital just because I don't want to really take the cute ones. I want to save those for when we visit people or have family day out. Um, these little, they're just like boring, so <laughs> those can be for like everyday use. Um, and then, oh, I had one more in that pack. No, I have another, I know lots of onesies and I'm not even done. Like everyone tells me, um, you're going to need more, Morgan. You need more, you need more. So we have so much more shopping to do, but baby is definitely going to be spoiled. Um, my girlfriends have already started buying stuff. My, um, favorite aunt, she has already started buying stuff. My mother is just... Her and my dad are like godsend. Like, they're just, I swear they were sent from heaven. They just are helping out so much. Um, and then every time I get online or go to the store, I have to buy something. Jared thinks I'm crazy. He's just like, you're going to spend all of our money before the baby even gets here. Um, oh, more ones. These are uh, a little bit more fun. This one um, is just like this olive color brownish i don't really know what color you would call this i'm usually really good with colors hmm, brain fart onesie and it has the it's a really dark this is not black it's actually charcoal um like a charcoal gray little pocket this is one to two months and it has the snaps at the crotch 
And this is one of my favorites. This was one, um, actually probably the first thing I bought. Um, and it says, I love dad. So obviously this is for Jared. He got, um, he was a little tickled when he saw this. And this is two to four months with the longer sleeves. So um, Jared's birthday is in December. So this might be what he wears on his birthday. Uh, because it definitely will be, he'll be able to fit it by then. Or she. I keep calling it a he. Um, <laughs> and it comes with the hat also, the little beanie that also says, I love dad. So he or she will wear this. Um, and this is both of these pieces. They didn't come together, of course. You had to buy them separately. Um, actually, no. I, I think I'm fibbing. I think they did come together. Um, and it was only like 10 bucks, I think. Yeah. And But they came from H&M. Also, I really love H&M's baby section. Um, then I have these. Okay, my video, my video got cut off. Um, that was weird. So I have these as well that are <laughs> shorter sleeve with the um, snaps at the crotch. And these are one to two months. That's just a plain white one. This one says, I love mom and dad all over it. Um, these are also from H&M. And H&M is a UK um, company. So that is why it says mom instead of mom because they say mom. Um, so it's, I love mom and dad all over it. And then I have this one that says, I love mom and dad. And then this one just says, um, I love mom. And then this one says, I love dad. I actually need another one that says something about mom because Jared Down has like four or three that say, I love dad. And we can't, we can't make it seem like he's more loved than I am. I'm the one doing all the hard work. I'm just joking, but but really I am. Um, carrying a baby is not easy. And then I have these. Um, what are these? Oh, beanies. And they just say new arrival. They are two to four months. Also from H and M. Um, this is just a pinstripe, and then this is just a plain white one. And then lastly. I have, oops, um, these, um, oh wait, no, I forgot something. I just see it over there. Um, I have these mittens and it's a three pack. They are the scratch mittens and that's what I just realized I forgot. I'm looking at it, but it's too far for me to get up and grab. I'm way too tired <laughs> to, um, do it, but it's also, I have another pack, which is another, uh, three pack of just plain white ones. And before I was pregnant, I used to say all the time, oh my gosh, when I have a baby, I'm not putting these mittens on my child. I feel like um, the baby goes crazy because it can't feel its hands. But I have since um, have had lots of friends who have had babies and I understand the importance. And I hear that I will be taking probably some of the plain white ones with me to the hospital, um, packing in my hospital bag because I hear once the baby is born, some babies come out with extremely long nails. And I'm not gonna wanna go through the hassle of trying to cut the baby's nails right there in the hospital with all the other stuff that's gonna be going on and baby's gonna be going through. Um, I know babies don't wanna like their nails cut, so I don't wanna put baby Smith through that as well. So we'll wait till we get home to do that. So while we're in the hospital for the two to three days, we will just put the scratch mittens on um, he or she to protect its little face. Um, that is it for right now. Um, I do have some gifts that we received, but I'll probably do those in my next haul because they're still packed up and I don't feel like I'm packing them. Um, we are about to move in like two weeks. So we have some stuff packed away. Um, and I'll probably do the next haul once we are in our new place. But yeah, you see... <laughs> So much stuff already. Baby is definitely going to be spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. But I'll see you guys next time.